Hey nerds, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to 12 Days of Nerd Mist. Today is day four, and today's video will be a little bit different. This is going to be my first movie review. I plan on doing more of these in the future as more Disney remakes are being made, other nerd films, and I figured why not start with this movie during 12 Days of Nerd Mist. So the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So last night I took my little brother to go see it, and for me, I really, really enjoyed that movie. There are several reasons that I like the movie, and I think that you should go see it if you're thinking about it. So before I jump into the review, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that there will be spoilers in this review. So if you have not seen the movie and you don't want to see any spoilers, then you might want to click away now. Number one, the biggest and most obvious thing is the boy that is going to be Spider-Man in this movie. He is both black and Latino. For me, that's a really big deal as a black nerd in this community. There's not the most representation for us, and I thought it was totally awesome to see that. It was just as normal as could be in the movie. Also, other representation were a lot of females. So there were two versions of female spider women. There was one teenage female spider woman, and then there was also this little Asian girl from like the future. I thought that was super cute. I really liked her character and her little robot. She was so smart, and every time she was like programming something, coding something, whatever, she was always munching on some snacks, and I thought that was hilarious. So representation was one really big thing in the movie that I liked. The second thing, I guess still goes along with representation actually, is that they chose to make Dr. Octavius a woman in this movie, which I thought was really interesting. The second thing that I really liked about this movie was like the art style that they decided to do. Me and one of my little brothers were talking about it during the movie. He whispered over to me and was like, I really like that it's like a comic book. And that's what I really like too. So it was like a 3D comic book version. Like they literally drew a comic and then transported it into 3D so that you can see these characters on the big screen. I thought that was really cool. There may be other movies out there with this art style, but this is the first time I'm ever seeing it. So I really enjoyed that. I also liked some of the little nuances that they put in there to flash back to comic books. Like they would say boom, pow, bang, stuff like that during a fight scene. Speaking of an homage to the throwbacks, the next thing that I really enjoyed was the end credit scene. And it was a super throwback to a really old Spider-Man. And it's like really popular now because there's a bunch of memes of one Spider-Man pointing at another Spider-Man. They included that in the movie, but with the villain for the upcoming, like the second version of this movie. So there's going to be a part two. And the part two is going to have this villain, excuse me, who's dressed like Spider-Man. And they had him in the scene pointing at the other Spider-Man. It was a whole scene. I thought it was hilarious because again, I love a good throwback. And two, the scene was just really funny in general. Another thing that I thought was pretty cool, I didn't realize until my brothers and I were walking to the car after the movie, is that this movie is linked to the new Spider-Man video game. I still have yet to buy or play that game. It was super popular, super hyped up when it first came out. And I'm not a big person on hype unless I already enjoy something. So because everybody was so hyped, I wasn't in a rush to get it or anything. I haven't been gaming as much as I should anyways, so I'm just waiting to pick that up. Probably, it will probably won't be <laughs> until like, I don't know, several months from now. But my brothers were telling me that basically the game and the movie play off of each other. It's basically like the same thing. They said the storyline's a little different, like the character that dies. Oh, speaking of the character that dies, why do they have to kill his uncle? And why does his uncle have to be bad? Oh, so many feelings about that. He had to be working for the bad guy, and then he saw his nephew, and he changed his mind. and was like, nope, not going to be bad anymore. But then he got shot, and he died. Why didn't he get shot and still live? Why all the spider people have to have people die? When each one of them went through the people that died, I was like, oh, this is so sad. Why they do that? Anyways, that's not what I was supposed to be talking about. But my brothers were telling me that in the video game, his dad dies and not his uncle. So I thought that was interesting how they did that play. And then also the bad guy in the movie, they said in the video game he was still really big, but he wasn't like weird looking like he was in the movie. I thought he was super creepy looking in the movie because you have his big giant body and then his little tiny head like in the middle of his chest. Where did he do that at? I thought that was weird. It was freaking me out every time they showed him on the screen. 
I also really liked the idea of bringing all these different spider people from their own, like, times and history and parts of the world and stuff into one movie. It was really cool to see, like, the 1960s version of him being black and white and being colorblind. Like, that was funny. I love, like I said, the little Asian girl from the future. I think she was Asian. Maybe she wasn't Asian. But she looked Asian. Maybe I'm making assumptions. Sorry if I am. But I thought that was really cool. The fact that they brought in, and the whole movie's animated, but more of like an animated version in Spider-Ham. I thought that was super funny. And it was like a play off of Warner Brothers. And they had a few little jokes in there about it. I thought that was really cute how they kind of merged them all together. And they were so different. But they all got along and could see that there were people like them out there. I just thought that was super cute to the overall message. And then the last thing that I really liked about the movie, following along with the message and kind of tying back to the first thing of representation, was the quote that he said at the end of the movie, you can wear the mask, anyone can. I thought that was super powerful and I think it's really powerful for young kids going to see movies like this and just movies in general, seeing someone that may look like them or someone that they know that they're not used to seeing on the big screen is super big for like self-esteem, positivity, knowing that you belong, things like that. So the fact that he said that and he's basically saying like, look, I'm Spider-Man, I'm wearing this mask, anybody can, it could be any one of us who, who is this superhero to someone. I thought that was really powerful. I really enjoyed that quote and having, you know, a young black brother who goes to see these little movies, I'm not sure how much he realizes in that moment, but as he progresses throughout his life, you know, that's going to play back in his mind. Seeing these characters that look like him on the screen is super important. So I really liked it. So overall, I really liked the movie. 10 out of 10, I thought it was great. It had a lot of funny moments. It was super great animation, great message, and great representation. So for me, really big win. I would definitely recommend you go see it. And after seeing the movie, I decided that I wanted a pop. So the one that I decided to pick up was Miles Morales. This is him, the Spider-Man, in his homemade Spider-Man outfit. So this is what he looks like outside of the box. I think they should have had his shoes untied. That would have been hilarious. And then this is what his cape looks like on the back. He looks super cool and really chocolatey. <laughs> I think he's cute. The one thing I don't like, I don't like collecting any of the superhero lines like Marvel and stuff because they're all bobbleheads and I hate bobblehead pops. And also, while I was at GameStop, y'all know I love a good deal. And Pops were buy one, get one 50% off, which actually isn't that great of a deal. But because I was already there to get Miles, I figured might as well take advantage and get a second Pop for $6. Because um, GameStop Pops are $12, which I don't like. Y'all know I'm cheap. Mm, hated it. But anyways, so I was able to look around and I found a Pop that I actually wanted and needed for my line. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up. So I was able to snag Iago. So this is what he looks like outside of the box. Oh, he looks really good. I like his colors and stuff. I like his design. It's very quintessential Iago. I love it. He looks super cute. And as soon as I get my hands on that Jafar, he's going right next to him. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part of these videos, my sock advent calendars. So I actually almost forgot that I'm supposed to open these, this video, but I did not. So let's go on to day four of our sock advent calendars. So I'm going to do the Dark Princesses first. Day four, ooh, has Mulan on it. I doubt that it's gonna be a Mulan pair of socks, but let's see. And the socks that I got today are Sleeping Beauty. So I'm going to tell y'all the truth. I didn't know who this was when I opened the sock. So I asked my mom. And then she told me it was Sleeping Beauty. I didn't believe her so I had to look it up. And it is Sleeping Beauty. So these socks will go to my mom. You're welcome, mom. Alright, on to Nickelodeon. Okay, so for our Nicktoon socks, it is going to be a pair of crew socks, which is pretty exciting. And it shows Arnold on the front. Doubt it's going to be Arnold inside, but let's take a look. So for day four, yep, it is a pair of crew socks, and they are from Rocco's Modern Life. <laughs> and they say, do I stink? These are super cute. I really like this color scheme. I'm a big fan of gray socks, and I really like purple and blue in my socks. So I'm really digging these. I mean, I don't stink, but I mean, I may because I'm wearing my gym clothes. I just got back from the gym and knew I needed to record real quick, so I don't think I do. But 
These socks are super cool. So that was my review on Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. That's gonna do it for me in this video, guys. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up down below. And let me know in the comment sections if you liked me doing a review of the movie. And what were your thoughts of the movie? If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in the know of all the nerdy. And hit that bell notification. But as always, guys, keep it nerdy.